Okay, in this video, we're, we're going to talk about uh, bouncing your tracks for listening. Uh, maybe you want to listen to your track, or um, maybe you're ready to send it to be mastered. Um, in either case, um, we're going to be able to, you know, bounce those. So this is what uh, I'm going to talk about here. And um, so what you want to do is, is you want the whole track to... Uh, uh, to be uh, sent to either WAV file or MP3. And so I like to use the yellow bar. And uh, the yellow bar, I can kind of set it up at the very beginning and the very end of, of my track. Sometimes I give a little bit of space, but it doesn't really matter. I want the whole thing to be there. And, uh, and I go up to File, and <clears throat> I go down to Bounce. And it's a Bounce Project or Section. And it's going to bounce everything within the yellow bar region. So bounce, and you'll you'll have some uh, some choices here. Uh, for one, you might want to do an MP3. You know, MP3s are are smaller. MP3s um, are easier to like send um, in email and things like that. So if you want to send it to yourself so that you can have a listen at home, maybe uh, you want to hear your track in uh, some different settings with uh, different systems, then uh, it's easy to send the MP3. Um, but the ones that are better quality are going to be your WAV files. So I'm going to click WAV file. You can actually bounce both of these at the same time. And uh, the PCM files are going to be WAV. Uh, or AIFF. Um, the AIFF is is the one that the Apple likes to use for their audios. So they are uh, high quality files as well. I just genuinely use the WAV because it seems to be more general. And uh, the resolution that you're going to want is 24 bit. 24 bit is going to be um, what you send off to the master. And you want to uh, send a WAV file WAV files for mastering. You don't want to send the MP3 because the quality just isn't good enough. Uh, you want the sample rate to be 44.1 and uh, interleaved. And uh, as far as the, the dithering goes, we can talk about this later, but dithering is, is for the very, very, very last step um, when you bounce uh, for mastering. So I'm going to shut that off. I don't want any dithering at all. Um, dithering basically uh, adds a little bit of white noise into the mix. And uh, the reason for it is um, when when you go from when you master, you're going to master in uh, in uh, the 16 bit, which is right there. That's the mastering bit, and that's uh, standard for uh, for CDs and you know for anything you send to iTunes or or anything. It needs to be 16 bits. So that's the final process. But before that, before it's mastered, you want to send it at 24 bit. Um, when you you know, basically compress it that much, 24-bit down to 16-bit, um, you can actually cause uh, some distortions that are not good. And so in order to uh, make sure that we don't have that distortion, uh, we do something called dithering. But the dithering is going to be the very, very last. That's when you do the master. Uh, okay, and uh, the MP3 is fine. Okay, that's uh, the one 60 kilobytes per second and 80 so that's fine. And I'm going to do both of them at the same time. And so I'll hit OK. And I want to save it somewhere. It automatically goes into your bounces folder within your project, so it's very nice. And so I'll bounce it. And uh, I've already kind of named it. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, very good. So if I want to find those files, then I will find my bounces. And there we are. I have one MP3 file now, and I have one WAV file. And, uh, and of course, the WAV file is going to be much bigger. Just to, to show a little comparison, the WAV file is 55 megabytes for that entire song, as opposed to the MP3 is 4.2 megabytes. So you can see there's a whole lot of compression going on between the WAV file 
and the MP3. Well, that's why the MP3 is uh, is easier to stream and it's easier to send on uh, on email and things like that because it's much much smaller. And so, anyway, there are times when you're going to want to listen to your track and uh, maybe even send the track to uh, other people for listening. Maybe send it to the the original artist. So in those cases, you probably want to do the MP3 for starters. But the very final project needs to be uh, needs to be the WAV file.